So for today, we're going to be looking at the Arc Inspired Armor set that we got from Eververse. Uh, specifically, we're going to be looking at the Dynamo Current for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we already reviewed the armor. It's right here if you guys want to check it out. We go over how the armor looks, my personal thoughts on it, and we also go through the shaders as well. Uh, this one, we're going to be looking at all of the armor pieces for the Hunter. Titan and Warlocks, you guys will get your videos soon. But yeah, let me know what you guys think because I think some of these pieces are really, really cool. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the helmet down and to, for the helmet for Dynamo Current Cask, I think this came out really, really cool. I am kind of cheating because I am using the Dynamo Current Strides, but to be fair, those boots are fucking cool. So that's why I'm using them for the arms. Lux sleeves is an easy choice when you pair it with the Raiju's harness. I think those two pair really well together just because the Raiju's harness has a very like like anatomy themed set and then when you combine it with the lux sleeves the lux sleeves almost feel like like an uh like it's themed around anatomy just because the top plate is that that piece of the arm but then you have the bicep and then the forearm and then the arm i just think it looks really cool uh for the boots dynamo currents because i like the cloth at the back it almost looks like a mark for me and i just like it a lot and then for the cloak the legatus cloak was a choice i made because i like the how the legatus cloak looks when you pair it with the dynamo current strides i think they just look super super cool together and for the shader ultra plasmic was an easy choice considering uh, i want to have some blue in there and ultra plasmic has a good blue glow which is what you're seeing on raiju's harness so I could gush about this set for a while because I just think it looks really cool and because there have been people telling me that Raiju's harness is OP or not OP but it's really good to use now so I kind of decided let's go let's use Raiju's harness considering I never use it and I just think this set looks amazing so yeah let me know what you guys think as for the arms I unfortunately like this set but I still hate the arms like I think the arms are just trash so for this one, I just decided to go with a half armored feel, which is why I'm using what I'm using for the helmet gilded memento. I wanted to use because the gilded memento and the arms take shaders the same way and the Moonfang X7 strides also take the shaders the same way, specifically the left, the left leg. So I almost, I was really close into just deciding to have the armor set or the armor pieces in one one side of the arm or one side of the body but i remember the moon fags existed and i'm happy i did because i think this set looks cool so for the arms obviously dynamo current is what we're using for the chest piece gumshoe gumption uh was a weird choice because there is no armor on it but i decided like one of the arms is not armored at all and i just kind of want to lean into that almost like my hunter's like building his armor set like in the field um i usually don't like to give my my characters little stories like that because i feel like it's a cop out but i it just to me that's just what my mind went to when i saw this set for the moon fangs it literally only the only reason i'm using them is because it equals out the weight i guess you would say because there's red in the middle for the helmet. There's red on the right side, which is the arms. And then there's red on the left side, which is the boots. So that's kind of like how I did it uh, to equal it out, because if not, one side would have been way too heavy, I guess. And then for the cloak, Lux cloak was an easy choice, considering the Lux cloak has like this little scarf that's white and it actually matches really well with the Gumshoe Gumption uh, undershirt, which is why I'm using it. So a lot of pieces I think look really cool with this set. Overall, I do think this set looks cool. I just, the arms piss me off to no extent. I just, it, it makes, it makes me rationally angry. I guess you would say. As for the chest piece, I think this set look came out really fucking weird, but in a good way. Like I don't hate it and I definitely love it. Like it looks really, really cool. And I technically have two sets for you because uh, it's just different shaders, but I do think both of them have the same, uh, inspiration i guess you would say so for the for the for the first one i'm going to show you the one that i i came up with and i really really like for this one we're going with a hoodless helmet or for this one we're going for a, a blackout helmet so nothing in the helmet but if you guys don't know how you do it is you use the dragonfly regalia mask with tangled bronze that's how you usually do that 
and there's other ways to do it but that's like the best way for me i think that's just the best way for the arms we're going to be using the sealed ahamkara grasps uh because the chest piece does have kind of like not that bone but i guess rock but rock and bone you can easily meld it together and speaking of bone we're going for the apilos following strides just because again i literally just explained uh the arms have that bone feel and a pilos following is like the best way for that and it's also symmetrical which really works out with the arms for the cloak we're using solstice cloak because that's one of the best cloaks you can do this with it's not the only cloak but i feel like it's the best cloak for this and it's also hiding the fact that if you didn't use solstice cloak the arms actually would be a little bit higher than the chest piece so it also helps you camouflage that aspect so a lot of things that are going into this i just think look really cool the shadering situation night chill is such a good shader in my opinion it's a, such a banger of a shader and then tangled bronze for the helmet is a it's no choice you have to do it if you want to go for a blackout look and i think this one came out really really cool now this is this is this is really cool because i didn't expect this to happen we switch the shader night chill sh night chill for hoarfrost sunrise and you get this like completely different feel but the the blackout hunter is still there i think this came out cool don't get me wrong you, you can see you can still see the dragon regalia a little bit but can you imagine like finding a helm or a hunter out in the wild that looks like this it's the weirdest shit because like you usually like for a blackout hunter specifically like no helmet you would go for really dark colors so that way it's easier to hide the hunter but for this one it almost looks like it it almost looks like uh like in video games when devs don't like make a character's face like they don't animate the character a face so they make them all black and you're not supposed to see it it kind of feels like that where you're not supposed to see this hunter but you did so uh just just a really cool interaction that i saw and i definitely will i kind of want to make this set a thing because i just thought it looked really cool and the other difference is the fact that we're using uh robo raptor talons for this one instead of apollo's following i feel like the apollo's following boots would still be better for this set but ra the robo raptor talons you could also exchange just just in case you're like oh, i don't want to use the bone one or i don't have it then the robo raptor talons would be a good one so i think this is my favorite for so far but we still have two more and i let's find out if i have any others as for the boots this is a cop out considering this came out in the assassin's creed hunter video which you, if you guys haven't seen i'll show it right now i really really like this set just because this one also is kind of the same thing as my helmet look but the fact that we're using the legatus cloak and the dynamo current strides again but this time we're taking out the legatus cloak completely with the omnioculus mask um which is giving me no cloak no no scarf anything i don't want a cloak on this i just want my hunter just just be like a regular person without a cloak or hood uh, for the chest piece miss deals vest because this was from the assassin's creed look and we're using the aeon swift or safe which one whichever one this one is called i keep forgetting but uh the only thing that i would say and i did say this in my, my assassin's creed video is that i would probably switch out the shader for a blue just because uh, the the uh, Aeon color that people usually use, the, the heavy uh, one, is the blue color. So I would probably just switch out for a blue color because obviously that's what everyone else is going to use. And I would probably go for like Metro Shift. Metro Shift is a really good blue and that's probably the one I would go for. So I don't want to talk too much about this one because I did make a video on it specifically the assassin's creed video and again if you guys want to see it, i'll have it up i'll have it up uh or i should have had it up and i'll have it in the description if you guys want to check it out and just be aware i do have my all, all the videos that i mentioned in my video i have it in the description so just if you guys were not aware last but not least we have the cloak and this one uh, i'll be real with you guys i don't know what 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 came over me but i am happy that happened because i think the set looks amazing so for this one, we're going to be looking at bombardiers. Uh, this one is one of my favorite looking exotics. It's just so unique that it just, I always feel compelled to use it because it looks so cool. Uh, for the helmet, iron truash cask was an easy choice because I wanted to go for like a samurai, not samurai, but like a Japanese themed set. And I think the iron truash set 
is a banger of a set that you can use on pretty much anything Japanese inspired. Iron Simiki, also Japanese inspired, also Japanese inspired. Iron Fellowship, also Japanese inspired. And Dynamo Current Cloak, which is what the whole set is revolving around. And the reason I really like this set is because the Iron Fellowship vest hides uh, a lot of the annoying pieces that the Dynamo Current has, specifically on the bottom of the cloak. I think it looks really cool. Of uh, the fact that the Iron Fellowship is hiding that. And then Whispered Sheen for that bone, or not bone, but for, and Whispered Sheen for that wood uh, texture, I think it looks really, really cool. So I definitely like this set. I would definitely use this set. And I'm happy because I like to, I like to have like a catalog of looks for my exotics. And this one is definitely in that catalog now, like just a catalog of like, oh, this set looks amazing with it. Granted, uh, the Bombardiers and Iron Simiki, those two really pair well together. So in my catalog, I have quite a few uh, sets that have those two pieces. But other than that, I think like the Fellowship, the Truage, and the Cloak, those are all new additions to that catalog. So I'm really, really happy about that. Now that I think about it, I should make a video of like, all of my catalogs of the exotics I have so far because I do have quite a bit for a lot of the exotics, especially my favorite ones. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Which one is your favorite look? It's really weird because like I think the helmet set it looks really cool. I, I fucking love it. I think the arm set is cool as well. I just don't think I would ever use it for the Gilded Memento set because I have made another Gilded Memento set in uh, this video right now that I'm showing you guys. And I like that one a lot more just because it looks a lot more regal, but I also love the chest piece look. The chest piece looks super cool, especially if you'd use the other shader, the, the bright shader. I think that one looks amazing. Uh, the Assassin's Creed set, I, I still like it a lot, but I do think it's like the weakest one here just because a lot of the other sets look was so unique. I'm not saying the Assassin's Creed one doesn't look unique. It's just like, I guess, cause it, I made it a while ago. So I'm like, kind of like, oh, I, I saw you already. I guess that, yeah, that would probably be a better explanation. I think the cloak one might just be my favorite if I'm being quite honest, because not only is it an exotic that I really, really love, but it's an exotic that I've used in the past a lot. So like realistically, this is the set that I think I would use the most because I actually would put this exotic on. But hunters, let me know what you guys think. Titans, Warlock, I, I already have the sets for you guys and I'll be real with you, man. The Titan one, I'm excited. And the Warlock one, I mean, I'm even more excited. Like that's the set that I was like, I, I had so much fun making that so look out for those videos thank you guys i appreciate y'all uh remember hit like like sub uh tell your friends about the content about my channel that really does help and be safe and i'll see you guys later